Watch yourself. Get that thing in yeah! Oh my God. Uh, what's going on guys welcome back to the channel <clears throat> we are finally have a weather window to do a little bit of offshore fishing so we're going to get the key west loaded up we're going to head out first thing in the morning we're going to meet up with chris and uh, matt from salty swigs and of course dragon kelton out there with us as well and uh, see what all we can get on you know this time of year a lot of times we get some pelagic species that aren't too far offshore and uh but the water temp has been super cool, so not sure if we're going to be able to get into those, but we're going to give that a try first, then maybe run out a little further, do some deep dropping. We'll probably be about 45, 50 miles out, but uh, we're going to get everything loaded up and hit that so we can get into. If you are new to the channel or you have not already subscribed, make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Only about 25% of the viewers of this channel are actually subscribed, so if you have not already done so, it would help me out a ton if you would go smash that subscribe button but we're gonna get the boat loaded up head on out first thing bright and early in the morning get to fishing let's do it all right guys we're gonna try to troll for some wahoo here the water's probably a little chilly but we're gonna give it a try anyways picked up these tormentor wahoo wreckers from the tackle store get this cable undone here we got this cable because these wahoo have super sharp teeth we're gonna click this on the end of this rod back here. These are good for high speed or slow trolling. We are gonna be doing some slower trolling today. Matt already put out another trolling lure. So we got one deep diver. This is gonna be a little closer to the surface here. You can also pull the same one with the trolling lead. I don't, I don't have any trolling leads yet, but I probably need to get one. Put a clicker on. Get our handy dandy rod reeses that Chris made for me. Matches my custom rods. Try not to lose these rods here. All right, we're gonna do a little shotgun out the back with the cedar plug here. I'm actually gonna run a birdie out in front of it. It's supposed to mimic some flying fish. And so this cedar plug comes with a swivel here, which we will snap onto our birdie. Just like so. And then we will snap our birdie onto the rod tip where Swigs is getting rigged up here. Trying to get Kelton on his first Wahoo would be absolutely awesome. We are in 400 foot of water right now. We're right here at the edge. So we can kind of drip, we can kind of zigzag back and forth. We can go up to like 250 down to about 500 and just kind of work that edge there. A lot of times bait will get pushed off on that ledge and that's where these predatory fish are going to be hanging out. So see what we can make happen here. Be freaking stoked to get a Wahoo in the boat. So now Matt's going to hook the birdie up there. If y'all haven't checked out his channel yet, Salty Swigs, you've seen him a lot on the channel. So make sure you go check out his stuff. We're gonna drop the birdie out the back here. And that's gonna be our shotgun rod, which will end up in the middle. Try to not get tangled up, we turned a little bit. It's a little bumpier than it was supposed to be out here this morning, but it's actually kind of good for Wahoo. All right, y'all still trolling here. We started running across a bunch of bait. I don't know how well y'all can see that in the camera. That is always a good sign when you're trolling back here. It's finding that bait. You find the bait, you find the fish. I don't know if we're gonna do that or not. Bunch of birds sitting on the surface there. I'm like, what is it? See if we, uh, They're like skipping on the surface. Not marking anything right now. fish, but they can't get out of the water. But we're gonna troll around this area, make a few loops, and uh, see if we can get eight here. There we go. We got some drag screaming. Kelton got that one. On the Nomad DTX. Yep. We're going to clear the lines. Here, let me get this one. You get that one. Get these things out of the way. Got to clear the lines here. Today's video is sponsored by Golden Nugget Online Casino App. 
And if you've been wanting to hit the casino but don't have the time to make a trip out to Vegas, you can now download the app Golden Nugget Online Casino and use my code GOLDENBRAD and they will match your deposit dollar for dollar. That is for new customers only and they will match it with a $5 minimum deposit up to $1,000 I'll match it dollar for dollar. 10X playthrough is required. Make sure you use code GOLDENBRAD. Download the app today. Go play some games. They have awesome slot games everybody's going to love, as well as some exclusive Golden Nugget games. So go check them out. Golden Nugget Online Casino. Don't forget to use the code GOLDENBRAD. Let's get back to fishing. Right. Let me get it. Nice work, Kelton. Got it, buddy. Kelton was like, when are we going to go slow pitch jig? I'm tired of trolling. And uh, I was like, trolling's boring until it's not. And here we are. And it's not. Got something on the uh, DTX minnow here. Down deep. Hopefully it's the right one. I know. Hopefully it's the right flavor. Or at least a keeper of something. Yeah. You know, it could be a nice body, but it didn't jump yet. Any anytime you're trolling like this, you do want to keep the boat in gear when you're reeling in. That way, you can keep the tension on the fish. If you do stop the boat, uh, these, these fish are so fast, especially if it's a wahoo, it could run in and just pull the hook. So we keep the boat in gear, which makes it difficult for reeling. Um, but you definitely got to do it to make sure you keep that fish tight. So Kelton's working here. There you go, buddy. Get him. Yep. Matt's gonna hop in. Go get the gaff ready. Oh, you already got it. Get that gaff. Yeah, Chris has it. Can I gaff it? No, 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 no. Go back up. And yeah, once we get this fish close, Chris, uh, Matt's gonna back up. That way we can try to gaff the fish right here on the back. Hey, you want to unclip this from that uh, cleat? All right, we got the fish coming up. See if it's gonna be the right flavor. Right now, any flavor is the right flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Just happy to have a fish on. Heavy. You wanna get up here, Kelton? No. Why? I wanna make sure we get them. No, Kelton. We gotta make sure we get this right. What are you thinking? What's on your mind? It feels like the right one, bro. That would be so sick. Yeah. No color. Up oh, there he is. He looks long. He does look long. He looks long. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh. A little starboard. I'm gonna have to clip this up so I don't mess something up here. Hopefully get the right angle. I want to gap him in the neck. No, buddy. Uh-uh. It's a big fish. Dude. It's a real one. Just make sure you get that thing. I know. And Kelvin, when we go to flip and they have razor sharp teeth, so you're going to need to move out of the way when we get them in the boat, okay? That's the right one. Oh, my God. That's yeah. the right one. Yes! Get that thing in here. Get that thing in here. Watch yourself. Get that thing in here. Yes! Oh my god! That's what we came for! Woo, baby! Yes! What do you think about that, Kelly? <laughs> Dude! Oh my that god! Is so god. Good, yo. Oh Woo. my god! Absolute giant! Woo. Nice. Absolute Woo. giant! You gotta de hook her? Just give me that gap. Wait, did he spit that out? That's the lure we caught him on. No, did he spit that bait out that's on the floor? Oh, yeah. in there. It wasn't going anywhere. Are we going to keep them? Heck yeah we are. 
There you go. Nice. Bro! <laughs> Come on, man! Yes! Come on, man! <laughs> <laughs> that is so freaking sick. Food here. Absolutely. Yes. First wahoo on the boat. That makes it freaking worth it. All right, let's get a picture before it gets uh beat beat yeah. the hell out of itself. So we'll just rinse it off. Water, Hit the raw like water. Check it out, y'all. First Wahoo in the boat. Kelton and Matt got to reel it in. It was a teamwork there. Chris driving the boat, got the gaff shot on him. I was a little hesitant about doing this today because uh, it's really cold. A lot of people say you can't catch Wahoo right now, but we did degrees, it. Baby, we we freaking did it. 64 degrees water temp. I'm already hoarse from screaming when we got this thing in. Probably what do you not. think, Kelton? When you catch a Wahoo, you have to say Wahoo. Can you say Wahoo? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. <laughs> what an epic trip so far. We're uh, getting the fish bled out, getting them on ice. We're about to drop some lures back in and uh, get to trolling again. This is the Nomad DTX 200. Dives 40 feet down. We have these at the tackle store. I'm going to link them down below if you want to pick one up. We actually caught it on mono. This feels like 50, 60 pound mono. These fish usually come in and attack from the side. As long as you get a good hook set, um, you're good to go. So we're gonna get back to it. Uh, raw water. See if we can make it happen again. All right, we just got our spread back out and uh, we did switch out the shotgun. We took off the um, cedar plug and put on like a little pink and white, small little feathery thing. Trying to have a little smaller presentation out the back. Trying to see if maybe a black fin um, of course, Bonita could eat it, something like that. Took that big birdie off. It was making a lot of commotion. Um, those birdies are really good for mahi, bigger tuna and stuff like that, which I don't know that are gonna be around right now. So switching the presentation up, see if that'll help us out a little bit on the shotgun rod, but my voice is gone. And uh, we're back to trolling. Kelton, you rolling in the next one? Yeah. All right, well, we trolled a lot more for Wahoo and didn't get any more bites, but still an awesome day so far. But now we're gonna try a little bit of slow pitch jigging here. We are in almost 300 foot of water. Send her down to the bottom. Yeah, takes a little while. Do, 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 do. Trying to see if we can get on any grouper, some Alamco jacks. Maybe some bee liners, something else tasty to take home with this Wahoo. All right, we're on bottom here. Wait, did you do that? <laughs> no, <laughs> wasn't me. Matt just got drilled by one of the bean bags. You got him? Real, real, real. You got a real bud, real. Nice. Kelton's got the first one of the day on the jig. <laughs> He's been begging to go jigging all day long. Yeah. You got him, baby. You're good, real bud. You got him, baby. Nice work, bro. Yeah, like every five minutes of trolling, he's like, when are we going jigging? When are we going jigging? A hair off the bottom. It's where the fish are. See what you're gonna have. He said he wanted to catch a ruby red lips. <laughs> Watch your line. Make sure your line's going on the spool even. I'm gonna go ahead and reel up. That way I can help you. you still got him? Yeah, he's still on there. Go. I know 300 foot's a long ways to reel up. Try to keep the line. We gotta try to keep it even. There you go. Perfect. You're good. Keep reeling. You're good. Nice work, buddy. No, you come finish them. No. No. 
Real. So you, you wanted a jig, you're gonna reel them in. I hope you hold the rod. This is what you begged for for three hours. Now you got the first trip or the first fish on the jig. Go, Kelton, go. Go, Kelton, go. You're getting close. You're getting close. See him? Not yet, but I can tell you're getting closer by the line. Keep going, keep going. Don't stop. Oh, he's right there. He's got me. Oh, you got eight, too. He had a bee liner. Oh. He's off your line. Dad, there's a shark. That is a little shark. Oh. Kelton had a nice vermilion snapper on the jig and got sharked. That was a good one too, dude. Be nice to load up some bee liners. That would be delicious. Like the sharks eating them. There's two of them. Sharks are the most endangered species. Second one you've ever seen? Yeah, in my life. I dude, that's impressive. How rare they are. First fish at the, on the jig for me. What's it gonna be? I didn't have my camera on earlier, but Swigs already has a grouper and some bee liners. You know. This is feeling grouper-esque. Watch my channel. Yep, salty swigs. Link down below. Let's see what we got here. On the goo fish. Do, 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 do. Trying to get a nice little box here. Something to cook up with the Wahoo. I haven't caught a grouper in a while. He's getting heavier and heavier the closer I get. Let's see here. It's kind of scaring me how much heavier he's getting. It kind of feels like something's happening. Oh, it's just foul. Oh, foul hooked BB. Nice one though. Nice. Another fish to add to the box on the slow pitch here. Nice vermilion snapper, gonna be delicious. I thought I had a grouper on. He actually had, it looked like he was hooked in the mouth and like towards the tail. So he was just like spinning the whole way up, which is why he felt like a grouper. It is hot. It was 37 degrees when we started this morning. We were all freezing, now we're all getting hot, sweating. All right, we're gonna drop a little piece of squid to the bottom here. See if we can get eight. Trying to load up on some vermilion snapper. Nice little uh, appetizer to go with our wahoo. It's, it's hard to top a wahoo. Like catching vermilion snapper is kind of like meh after you catch a wahoo. What are you eating? Oh, a banana. You brought a banana on the boat. Mm-hmm. That's right. Why? Because we caught a wahoo. <laughs> You can't bring a banana on the boat. I always bring bananas on the boat. Jeez. Nick Stanzik brings bring bananas, bananas on the boat. boat. All right, y'all, we're not messing around anymore. I rigged up a little chicken rig here. We're just gonna try to load up on some of these bee liners, vermilion snappers, mingos, BBs, whatever you wanna call them. They're jigging on the other side of the boat. Kelton's got a knocker rig, but uh, I'm gonna drop down the chicken rig, see if we can make it happen. I'm getting bit over here. You got him? There you go, get him, bud. Ew. Kelton's got one on the knocker rig. Real one. Oh, did he come off? Real, real, real. Yeah, keep going, keep going, keep going. You got him, bud. You got him. Keep going, buddy, you got him. You got him. Yes, Kelton. <laughs> I don't see him yet. He's still 280 foot down there. Right here. Real, 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 real. Don't stop reeling. Pretty sure I got stolen. Get him, Kelton, get him. Get him, Kelton, get him. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I got stolen. All right, Kelton, let's see what you got here. Keep going, bud. He's way down there. Just nice and steady. And eventually, he'll be up here. You got him, dude. Oh, I see him, I see him, I see him. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, nice fish, come on, come on. He's almost there, he's almost there, he's almost there. He's almost there. 
Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hey! Look at that vermilion snapper, dude. You got my yeah. Heck yeah, Kelton. Dude, Kelton. That is your biggest vermilion snapper. Stug. What do you think, dude? That three and a half pounds. That is a jumbo. How long is it? Let's see. Got to use our true north <laughs> marine, marine mat. Set 18 inches. Come on, baby. Dude. That may be a four pounder. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. What? Open up that box. The biggest fish you've caught today. The biggest beeliner we've caught today. On the uh, 5,000 Stratic. Nice. Chris got a giant. Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Uh oh. Don't let that thing rock you up. Oh, shit. Get him. Come on, baby. Get him. Oh, I wish I had a conventional reel. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. Oh, we're drifting right over the hump. Spot lock it. Oh, my, God. Oh my gosh. That's a good I think I just got, got shark. I think you just got shark. Bang. Yeah. Well. That sucks. Chris just got an old sharky shark. There's a fish. There's a fish. What's it going to be? I haven't been doing very well on the jig today. I haven't really recorded a lot because there hasn't been anything really worth recording. Just pulled up to a new spot, starting a new drift. And I got hit on the second little pitch off the bottom. You on? Yep. Chris is on. We're doubled up. Double it up. See what it's gonna be. Mine's small, whatever it is. Okay. Still 300 foot here. Oh, it's fighting a little harder now. What the hell? Mine's not. So we're we're hooked on two different animals. Hey, oh big baby. Nice. Stud. Stud. Stud BB right there. Is that the size of mine? Yours was probably still a little bigger. Nice vermilion snapper on the jig. That is an absolute tank. Let's check the marine mat here real quick. Yeah, he's about 17, so Kelton still got an inch on me for a biggest beeliner, but it is a good one. We're gonna see what Chris has coming up here too, though. All right, when you're up, stay up. We'll move back up on that drift because we're not marking much now. We came back down that ledge. What you got, Christopher? It's a turtle. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> That'd be the coolest catch of the day right there. What's it going to be? It's still fighting. Oh, it's probably a jack. Problem. Maybe it's an amico. Uh -oh. Right there. Uh-oh. Not the dolphin. I hear leader. There's fish. It's an amico. Oh, is, that, is that an amico or an amber? No, it's an amber. Chris got himself a... A little bit of amberjack. Kelton's got something coming up over here on Swig's rod. Let's see what Kelton has. What you got, buddy? Nice work. Food. This dude woke me up at 4 a.m. this morning before the alarm even got off, ready to go. And he's he's been hanging in there with us today. I'm sure he's exhausted and he's going to sleep the whole way back to the boat or the whole way back to the ramp, but... Kelton's a trooper. You better get that fish in before the dolphins get him. Kelton is a fishing machine. Come on, keep going. You don't have to reel fast, but you gotta constantly reel, okay? Just try not to stop reeling. Well, now you get to see Swigs reel in the rest of this fish. And it is a nice vermilion snapper. Uh, all right, let's go make that drift again. Yeah. See if we can load up a few more. Patties. All right, y'all, I already took my mics off, so the audio is probably terrible, but we are done for the day, about to head on in. We, uh, all in all, it wasn't like a crazy day. We didn't catch a ton right. of fish, but a Wahoo in the boat a nice in January in the cold water, when yeah. a lot of people have been saying you can't catch Wahoo in right. this water temps, was pretty epic. So cannot complain about this day at all. So we're gonna head on and back. And look how cool, like exotics. I mean, he caught yeah, whatever. Those I don't know or... if I have those on camera or not, but Chris caught a couple little fish. We're gonna head on to the the uh, boat, the 
the dock. We're gonna head on to the marina, the dock, whatever, <laughs> whatever you call the place with boats and uh, clean up the fish and I'll show you these other fish that we caught and uh, we're gonna clean up the wahoo, get the boat all cleaned up and then uh, tomorrow, which will be in five seconds for y'all, we are gonna make some sushi and do some uh, seared wahoo and it is gonna be absolutely delicious. But I'll catch y'all back at the dock. We're gonna weigh this wahoo up, see how much it is. Y'all comment down below your guesses right now. You were saying 40? I was, I'll go, if we're guessing yeah. accurately, I'll go, uh, 37. 37? I like it. So uh, y'all comment down well, below you your guesses. you gotta put your guess in. Okay, I'll uh... Chris, what's your guess on the Wahoo? 32. Uh, 32? Nice. I was gonna say 34. Okay, so I'm nice. like right in the middle. I like going high, Healthy. baby. How much do you think that Wahoo weighs? Mm. He is in there soaking up water. He might be a little heavy. Maybe. 40 or 50? 40 or 50. Nice. So Kelton's going. That's a really good Kelton's number. going over. Yeah. So the top number was 37. Kelton's calling over. So y'all let us know what you think. Yep. We'll see y'all at the dock in like two seconds. Chris and Kelton are going to get us a cart here. Got to get some of this old bait out of the way. Not an amazing day. But that dude right it's there winter. made it all freaking worth it. Matt's scamp oh Ugh. big old bee liner another big old bee liner right there what else you got in there kelton this. one of these crazy this is the one i don't know if y'all saw that on camera earlier but this is one of the fish chris caught the lady up there is probably going to tell us it was illegal and too short or something negative she will not tell us that that's a little guppy a nipple head. That was just a big nipple head. Little sandwich. I got the last what one. What else you got down there? Anything else? Yeah. What's in there, Kelton? There should be another one of those. There's, there's, yeah. there's still a couple more little fish. Another bee liner. Oh. Ow! Careful. I think I broke my hoochie. Another little bee liner. I broke my hoochie. Your hoochies. <laughs> Get my pliers out of there. Ugh. I dropped them. Dropped them and left them. Yes. Oh, that. Oh, oh, nice. A damn torpedo in there. Who, who caught that thing? What's that big old thing? Don't drop it in the water. We're going to go yeah. for a swim. Let it, let it down. Oh, we'll be swimming for that thing. You got it? Oh, dang it nice. Yeah, That's a booger. Right, hop up there, bud. Ready to clean some fish? Yeah, buddy. All right, it's all you. You got to clean them. I like how we're pointing cameras at each other <laughs> <I know>. right now. <laughs> Chris has to clean them. No, I'll clean them. I love cleaning no, I'll fish. Clean. Man. You love cleaning fish? Oh, I love cleaning Mingo. Really? Oh, Mingos are super fish. easy. That's interesting. Really Wahoo's easy. Right. It's a beautiful grouper right there. Can't believe I only caught one. Oh, kind of disappointing. I think I lost one. But. All right, y'all. Well, we got checked by the lady with uh, Marine Resources, checking on what all we caught, how big, all that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But they don't have the scale set up right now. It's usually right there. They don't actually have the scale part out here. And uh, so we don't actually know what this Wahoo weighs. So we're going to rely on y'all to tell us how much that thing weighs. Here it is. It's probably 30, 35. I would say right around 35. 30 35 is a good God, guess. It's a, it's a big fish. But it's, too whatever, big, it's too big to curl with one hand. Whatever y'all say over goes. Like 25, I would People say. on YouTube are always right. So whatever y'all yeah. say goes. Yeah, y'all are right. Matt's about to clean it up for us. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing this meat. It's going to be delicious. All right, y'all. Start right behind the pectoral fin. Come all the way up to the head. Make a turn. Ooh. All the way down this body. You just want to ride that spinal cord or the uh, backbone oh. all the way down. <laughs> They're doing weird stuff over there. Yeah. We're actually here trying to clean fish that we're going to eat. Ooh, look at that meat. Look at that meat. Now, what I like to do is just take it off one oh. side a little bit. Get this cut started here. 
And then I'm going to flip it over and do the other side because the hardest part in cleaning these fish is when you roll big fish over, it's going to lump down on you and have a, uh, a little bow to it. So when you flip it over, you can do the other cut and that's the hardest part is making that first cut. So you make the other cut on the other side, we'll take this whole slab off and then we'll flip it over and take that slab all the way off. And the, the great thing about Wahoo, y'all, is that they harvest really well. And right here on these uh, dorsal fins, you're gonna have to break through that cartilage right there. So it may get a little- Same tough. thing like tuna, yeah. bonita. Exactly. All Any of the pelagics, pelagics have that right there. have that really hard cartilage Dad. right there. Yeah, on these wahoo, you get a ton of meat out of this fish. So they harvest really Let's well. say it's a 40 pound fish. I mean, you're probably gonna get 30 pounds of meat. Yeah. Like Dad. At least. 25 to 30, right in there, I would say. That's it, accurate. It's literally head, backbone, and meat. Right. You are doing a fantastic job there, Matt. Thank you, sir. I like holding the camera way better than I like actually filleting fish. I hear you. I will say you are way more meticulous than I am. Oh yeah. I'm we just like. Give me some meat. Give me Let's go home. Meat for my baby, baby. There she starts to go. She's starting to break away. Yeah. About to fold that girl over. That's the nice thing about that flexible dexter right there, is you can get on top of that backbone and get on the other side, opposed to more of a stiff knife. That flex blade helps a ton. Look at that pretty white meat too. Ah, it's gonna be so good. Is it white like a bite? Is it white like a tight? Oh, it is white. White like a butter bite. <laughs> he says the weirdest stuff. Look at that giant fillet right there, though. It doesn't show up how wide so it is in the camera, take note. but that is literally what I was trying to yeah. avoid. Is you don't want to do let that fillet fold over too quickly. Just like rips it, and it'll rip it. That's why I was trying to not lift it up too much. You don't want to rip those fillets like I just did. It's all right. It'll be okay. <laughs> Y'all don't want any of that. Don't go catch a wahoo. Y'all don't <laughs> want any of that. You're crazy. I at least want some soy sauce. Rinse it out with some fresh water. Kill or some clean salt water. <laughs> Alright, we're going to clean up the other side here. And then we're going to show you something crazy inside this wahoo stomach, which is inside every wahoo. Alright, he got the sides knocked off here. We are about to find out what is inside the stomach. I'm interested to see this. What are you doing there? Oh, this oh, is that's... actually the best portion. Oh, that was the bottom the side. I thought he was still know, right side up, but. but if you leave this belly meat on a wahoo, you're an idiot. Because that right there is the best eating okay. on a wahoo. You eat the belly meat like on raw every too? Fish. Okay. Whatever you say. Bellies and collars. And I'll show you how to take these off if you don't want to. I've heard about the collar stuff. If you but... don't want to take the whole collar off, like from here to there, you can get this meat out real easily. You just come around those bones and come right back through. And then you got a little fillet. Is it really necessary? Well, it's really good meat. All right. So supposedly, I've never actually seen myself. But supposedly there's like a little little rascal that hangs out inside of Wahoo's bellies. Yeah, there's there's parasites that they all apparently have. Have you so, actually seen one in person? No. Now yeah, what is it in the belly? So this We're is about the to find belly. out. Oh, here it is. Oh, you feel it? I, I feel something. I'm guessing a little small. There it is. There it is. Yep. What is that? Victor that? over at Land Shark has talked about this. That's a parasite that these Wahoo every have. Every Wahoo belly. No matter the Wahoo, it's going to have one of those. And there's no telling what Kelton's about to do with it. Don't eat it. The little white things? 
No, no it's brown. like and a there's brown. There's another one. Wait, what? Oh, one even those? bigger one. Whoa. Golly. That's an even, that's a lot. That Maybe that one gave birth to that one. Must have. <laughs> Nasty. That's pretty intense. Is it alive? All right, guys, we got a lot going on here, but uh, finally got our first Wahoo on the boat, which was absolutely awesome. Uh, Kelton Matt wrote it in. I got the gaff. Chris drove the boat. We got fish cleaned up. Cohen's down there talking. <laughs> but uh, we got a lot of stuff ready for the sushi. But, uh, we're going to do this a few different ways. I'm going to show you all kind of how I'm making my sushi roll. We're going to make a whole bunch of stuff, and then we'll just show you the presentation instead of walking through every single thing. But when you're making sushi, you got to have this rice kind of cooled down. And it's best to use wet fingers when you're working with this rice. Otherwise, the rice is just going to stick to your hand. Boys, stop. We have the uh, seaweed wrap or whatever these things are called. We're putting rice on half of it. So you don't want to do the whole thing. Put rice on half of it here. You don't want to go too thick either. You know, gotta keep the fingers wet. And then when you're doing it, you just want to, if you freaking drag that thing across the counter. <laughs> Chris likes making a bunch of noises. It's like having another kid in the house with Chris over here. <laughs> We're just gonna thinly lay out in lines the different things we want and then roll it up. Start with the wahoo. And then I'm gonna go, eh, I'm gonna cucumber. Oh, that's jalapeno. I do want some jalapeno. I'm not a fan of cucumbers, it's like super crunchy. A little avocado. If y'all have never made sushi at home, if you like sushi, it's fun to do, fairly easy to do. Of course, it's best if you have fresh seafood like we have today. We got some peppers here. Half. I have the cream cheese. Cannot have sushi without cream cheese. Last time we did this, I think the first time I did it, I put too much in the roll, and I feel like I've done that again. Too much cream cheese. I feel like I have well, just too much stuff. Oh. No, I feel like I have too much too stuff. Much. Yeah, but it doesn't roll up good. When you have too much, it just like makes it a mess. Then it turns into a one of the what are those turns bowls called? A poke bowl. Poke, there you poke, go. Poke anywhere. Turns whatever. into something better. Poke bowl. We're gonna see if we can roll this thing up here. And we don't have like the bamboo roller, but we got this rubber kind of mat thing, cookie sheet. You gotta pinch it nice, pack it down. I uh. My seaweed thing ripped a little bit. So that's basically what you're left with. You can do the rice on the outside, but uh, honestly it's way easier to do it on the inside. A lot of times sushi restaurants, the rice is on the outside of the wrap, but it's way easier to make it this way. They're professionals. Yeah, I'm, I'm no professional. Ooh, you know what? That's what I was supposed to do. I think you're supposed to wet the end of this, and that like helps it stick. Like, oh, an, like an envelope. Brings back memories. Envelope, envelope. Yeah. Memories. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy up. I'm just gonna cut the ends off a little bit. Cause that's nothing special there. Slice up our sushi. Should have packed it a little tighter, I think. Yeah, we're gonna make a bunch of these rolls. We're gonna make like a nice little display. I just want to show y'all real quick how I make mine, what I wanted inside of it. Check it out. That is my sushi roll. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to set that to the side. We're going to do the taste test at the end. Chris is going to make a roll. I'm going to make something for Courtney. Uh, we got a bunch of different things we're going to do, and then we're going to eat all this at the end. So we're going to prep everything else. Catch y'all when it's time to eat. All right. Kelton wants to make his own sushi roll here. <clears throat> so you're going to want to wet your hands before you get the rice. So just get a little water on your hands. And then you want to put rice on like half of the green stuff. Do I just take, do you want to take it off? Huh? You want to take the stuff off? No. Put it on like the top half. And you like smash it down. Alright, that's probably enough rice. Now spread it out. It's interesting how brains work. Because when I say half, I think this half. And he went this half. But you want to smash it down. 
You don't want it like super thick. Yeah, now what? You're gonna want a little bit more rice. That's not a lot of rice, dude. You want it? You want to cover all the stuff. What is that? Cheese? And then what all do you want in your roll, Kelton? Mm. The wahoo. Yeah. Use that one if you want wahoo. <laughs> and so lay it across the top here. I want to try. Hey, long ways, buddy. This way. This way. Mm-hmm. One more piece. It's seaweed. Hey, no, 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 no. You want to lay it in a row like this. All right. And then, uh, you like avocado. Get some green avocado. Mm. You stuffing your face over there? All right, so we got our avocado. One more. One more. No, that's hey, mine. Stop. This is Kelton's. Oh. You like bell peppers? Dad, where's mine? Hey, Kelton's going first. You want to lay it all on the line like this. That, that is pepper. And then, uh, want some more pepper? Probably. You don't like the cream cheese, do you? No. The white stuff? Alright. So now what we got to do, Kelton, is, uh, you want to grab the end here. You want to start tucking it over. You got to roll it in. Roll in with a taco? Roll in with a taco? Do we cut yeah. it next? And then, hang on, hang on, hang on. Then we gotta roll this, because we gotta tuck it in there tight. This is hard to do with a camera in my hand. I'm just gonna set this right here. See what y'all can see. Get our stuff back in there, right? And we gotta roll it over. Then we roll this over. We gotta over. pack it in there. I'm really, hang on, stop. Yeah, I got Let's bring this roll. back over here. Look, so we're gonna roll it. We're gonna pinch it in there nice and tight. Alright, that's good. And then we're gonna roll it again. And we're gonna do the same thing. Squeeze it. Not 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 too crazy. Not too crazy. And then we gotta get a little bit of water. We'll put some water on there. We got Finish it. Finish it off. By cutting it? Hang on, hang on. He's just all ready for the knife. All right. You're putting it? Yep. How am I here? Hang on, no, look. When you cut it, you don't want to push. You, you got to kind of move the knife like that, okay? Mm-hmm. And that first piece always kind of falls apart. That's the piece you eat. That's the part we don't know how to do yet. Watch your fingertips. <laughs> that too, too. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Kelton. You're not a carrot kind of guy? A wet knife helps a lot, too, when you're cutting through here. Wet knife, a sharp knife. Or, and a, or a butter knife. Butter knife. All right. Perfect, Kelton. Kelton's first sushi rolls. I'm gonna watch them. All right, so there she blows right there. We still have a lot more this to make. This one's mine. Yep, there's Kelton's. This one's Chris. That's Chris's. This one's That's Dan. mine. I put the sriracha mayo on top of mine. I'm about to do this one. But we got the, the seared. Barbecue this would be, I guess, technically Nigeri over top of rice. And then sashimi. <laughs> I meant to grab some chopsticks, but I did not grab chopsticks. Wait, we might have some. I don't think we have chopsticks. I thought we had some in here somewhere. I don't think we have chopsticks. Chris is putting a little barbecue sauce on it. Oh my goodness. This stuff smells good. All right. I might have to do a little bit right here too. What do you think? I'm Looks ready. delicious. Yeah, this is Dad's, Chris's mine. I'm going last. I'm gonna try mine first. Big old dab of a uh, sort of mayo, a little soy sauce. Eh, uh, yum sauce. Mmm. That is delicious. Kelvin? Try yours. Uh, I think it's Chris's turn. I'm going next. You go Chris? Alright. Well. It's all you, Christopher. Yes, sir. It's a messy one there. Old Japanese barbecue sauce. I don't know. I need to try another one. <laughs> Just to make sure. No soy sauce? No, the barbecue is kind of like got it's kind of like totally barbecue. Yeah, that's true. I should go good. with a little of the uh I'm gonna try my seared. 
Wait, is mm. it even? You, it's off. It's still on. The screen is backwards. Family. Soy sauce. Do the soy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's doing the good dance, look out. Why are you hiding back there? You like it? Uh-huh. Uh-huh, oh yeah. Nothing better than some fresh sushi. No, I tried it. Caught yesterday. Mmm. Mm. I gotta say though, Tataki's my Chill. favorite. You wanna try one of these together? Sure. Go ahead. Everybody grab one. Yeah, that was mine. I okay. I made that one for me. Grab it. Mm. Well, uh, Hold on, you didn't Nigeria grab that one. action here. Always the soy sauce. Me too. Mmm. Count the spell part. What I'm telling you. Sushi night. Sushi night. Mm. Look out. Coming in for a kill. Absolutely. Delicious. We have a lot more fish, a lot more stuff, some rice. I made a lot of rice because we are going to save some of this. We do have a, uh, a Weber uh, flat top, and so we're going to do some fried rice I like tomorrow. This. So that's I what we're going to use with the rest of this rice. And some of these veggies and stuff. It's for tomorrow with fried rice, but... It tastes like ramen. Yeah? It's yummy. We're going to finish hanging out. Eat some more sushi. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure you just subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more offshore fishing this year. We're going out tomorrow and the next day, trying to get some videos, trying to get a lot of fish. And uh, Kelton loves the Wahoo. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, guys. We will catch y'all in the next one. Till the next one. And y'all take care.